we are going to do this pretty girl's hair. And she has just curled her hair. She just pin curled it. You don't have to pin it if you don't want to, if you just want um, loose curls. But if you do pin them, it will make the curls last longer. So you can definitely follow my pin curl tutorial video um, to do that. But I just want to show you guys a couple of really quick and easy styles that you can do um, before school that will still give you kind of that, that pretty vintage look. Okay, so once they are all pretty and loose, if you have bangs that are growing out, you can do one of two things with this style. Either you can just keep them side swept, and I'm just gonna brush one side up. Just give it a little bit of a twist, and then take your bobby pin and just fasten it in there. You can also do this with combs, but if you don't have combs, bobby pins totally work. Then just do the same thing on the other side. The rockin'est mama that you ever done seen. Boppin' Bonnie, hey, hey. Now you just have a cute, kind of classic, simple, vintage style. And like I said, if you're growing your bangs out, you can leave them side swept, or you can just try to brush them back into the hair that you have pinned. It might take an extra bobby pin. It might also take some hairspray. But as they're growing out, they're kind of a pain, so you just have to be able to maneuver with them a little bit. And you can twist them under, and that'll kind of help secure them also. Ta -da! Then you can do the same thing on this side with those little bangs. Just give them a twist. Ta -da! Oh, we have the cutest little cling. <laughs> and that gives you another variation on the simple vintage style. So another thing you can do once your hair is already pinned like this, if you just part it in the back, you can do one of two things. You can either do just regular pigtails which are really cute, especially when your hair is really tightly curled, or you can do braids. And I actually like to do braids with the hair curled because it makes the ends look really cute and it adds a lot of fullness to your hair, especially if you have fine hair. So just give it a loose braid. Yay! So obviously you're not gonna do one in one. You're gonna pick one or the other, but you can do braids on both sides or pigtails on both sides and it gives you um, Another cute variation. It's also good to do these kind of pigtails if you're gonna be like sweaty or if you have a long day at school and you feel like your curls are gonna slump a little bit. This is a better um, daytime hairdo. You can also do um, pigtails in little buns so you would just tie them tighter and then they would be a little bit closer to the head, which is another good thing to do if you are looking for something that's not gonna kind of slump throughout the day. <laughs> so another style that you can do it's just a simple pompadour with a ponytail. This is kind of my go-to favorite. And if you can curl your hair, it definitely makes for a more vintage look. But if you can't, you can just tie it into a bun. But just separate a front section of your hair and give it a little bit of teasing. I know a lot of you girls don't love to tease, but sometimes you need to do it just for that volume. And especially if you have little baby hairs, just use a little bit of hairspray. Most of you young girls are gonna have these little baby hairs, so don't feel like you're abnormal if you do. Then, you're gonna take that same section and give it a little twist and a little push, and then just fasten it with a bobby pin. And then, you're gonna take the rest of the hair. Holy cow, she has so much hair. So you're gonna take the rest of the hair after you've brushed it up, and tie it as high as you can. Now this is the point where if your hair isn't curled, just tie it into a bun. But if it is, you can let it loose into a ponytail. Any loose pieces that you have, you can just spray. It's also a little bit more difficult if you have cowlicks in the front of your hair. So you just have to learn how to work with your specific hair type. Another cute thing you can do with this style is take a scarf. It can be any kind of scarf or even a bandana. And tie it around the ponytail. So look that way. So this gives you kind of that... 50s sock hop kind of look. If you have a longer scarf, you can tie it into a bow on the top, but this is a little bit shorter, so you don't need to tie it into a bow. Whee! Ta -da! <laughs> okay, so for the last look, I'm just gonna do a simple victory roll-ish type, and this is gonna be a roll that you're not gonna have to tease your hair for. I know a lot of you girls, like I said, are really hesitant about teasing your hair, especially you younger girls, you don't wanna damage it. So just make sure that your hair is curled before you do this one, otherwise it's gonna be more difficult without the teasing. So you're gonna part from your ear to the top of your part. Now this is gonna be a little bit harder because this young lady has bangs, but it's not impossible. Okay, so take the hair and roll it around your fingers and then 
roll it all the way down in that shape. So it should be in a little roll shape. So you're gonna roll it down and then stick a pin in it. Try your best to get the bangs in there. And if you need to, you can just bobby pin them in there, but try to hide the pins. And then you just spray and smooth to get the shape that you want. Okay, so when you're not teasing the hair, you're not gonna get as big of um, a volume as when you are teasing the hair. So these are gonna be kind of petite rolls, so I wouldn't totally consider them victory rolls. They're young lady rolls. <laughs> so you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. stubborn hairs that don't want to sit in the rolls. If you hold them and actually blow dry your hair as the hairspray is drying, that helps to get those little hairs up there. So now you have a cute little kind of 1940s style and you didn't have to tease, it'll be easy to brush out and it shouldn't take you more than 10 or 15 minutes to do this, it's really easy. So that was my vintage hair and makeup for you preteen ladies. Um, <laughs> uh, hopefully you liked it, hopefully you learned some things. If there are any other tips and tricks that you guys might have for each other, please leave them below. But um, like I said in the video, I just try to do very um, simple, easy, quick, not too much makeup, not too much stuff in your hair because you girls are young and you should still look young and fresh and still vintage. So hopefully you guys like this. Definitely subscribe so you can see the second half of this video, which is going to be the preteen pinup style, which is going to show you kind of how to put together some age-appropriate outfits. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.